Welcome to Be Smart Medical Video, in this part of video we will discuss about peptic ulcer disease. What is peptic ulcer disease? Peptic ulcer disease or PUD are formation of painful sores or ulcers in the lining of the stomach or first part of the small intestine, which is also called the duodenum. It's rarely occur in the lower part of esophagus when ulcer in the stomach is known as a gastric ulcer or occur in the first part of the intestines or duodenum, is known as a duodenal ulcer. And when ulcer in the esophagus known as esophageal ulcer. When you take food your stomach produces strongly acidic gastric juices that breaks down the food, gastric acid is the gastric barrier which killed the microbiological pathogens and protect our organ. The inner surface of the stomach is lined by a thick protective mucous membrane known as the gastric mucosa that protects our organs form the corrosive effect of stomach acid. When the protective mucus layer break down or damage the mucus layer allow to stomach acid to reach the lining of your stomach or duodenum that's cause an ulcer. Now we will discuss causes of peptic ulcer disease. The most common causes of a duodenal ulcer are include the bacteria Helicobacter pylori and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs. Smoking, spicy foods, stress, chronic liver disease, Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, genetic factor, excessive alcohol uses. Also by the close contact with infected persons. Now we will discuss treatment of peptic ulcer disease medication which used for peptic ulcer disease many effective medications now available like if the ulcer due to the infection of H pylori bacteria then your doctor usually prescribe a combination of antibiotics to kill the H pylori bacteria if you don't have an H pylori infection then your doctor will prescribe proton pump inhibitors or PPIs to help reduce stomach acid production most of the time peptic ulcer due to the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs then your doctor may recommend not taking non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs or limit the drugs. Your doctor may recommend a prescription of histamine type 2 antagonist also known as H2 blockers to reduce stomach acid released into your stomach and help your ulcer healing, acid blockers or H2 blockers also reduce ulcer pain. Your doctor may recommend medications also called cytoprotective agents that help protect the lining of your stomach and small intestine until the ulcer has healed. Sometime we have performed surgery also. Surgery also needed sometimes to treat the ulcer. You may need surgery if your ulcer does not heal by medication. The appropriate surgical procedure for peptic ulcer disease are. Number 1 is vagotomy. In vagotomy your surgeon cut one or more part of the vagus nerve to the stomach. Vagotomy is an essential surgical management to treat and prevent of peptic ulcer disease or PUD. Number 2 is pyloroplasty. In pyloroplasty your surgeon widening the opening at the bottom of the stomach also known as the pylorus. After pyloroplasty allowing food to passing more easily. Next one is antrectomy. Antrectomy, or partial gastrectomy, is a surgical procedure for peptic ulcer disease in which the antrum distal part of the stomach is removed. This is all about peptic ulcer disease. Thank you for watching.